Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I will show you step by step how we can easily use amazing software called Simple Practice. So let's start. Now the first thing you want to do is just like enter your email here. I'm going to use my email and I'll simply paste it here and start for free. I believe guys after watching this video you will know exactly how to use it. So now I'm just going to add my full name, email, username, let's go. password let's go like this I'll just add my number here Okay, here I got it. And now let's say message therapy. Start my free trial now. And let's just wait until it loads and then we are going to continue. Marcus, welcome to Simple Practice. Okay, this is what we can find here. Let's get started. Now, uh, choose what you want to learn. If you want, you can like check it or we are going to together. So I'm going to show you what you can actually find in simple practice. And then I'm going to show you step by step how you can add clients, billing, etc. Now, when you're gonna be here on the left side, you will find a menu. In the menu, you will be able to find clients, billings, insurances, reports, account activity, reminders and settings. Then my recommendation, you can also download application for your mobile. On the top, you can see create and you can create client or appointment or add availability. You can request, you can see messages here or on the top right, you can see uh, your account. Now, the first thing that we are going to do, I'm going to add a client. In a calendar, this is like simple calendar in which you would uh, like can simply add appointments. So first I'm going to show you the calendar and then we'll go to clients, okay? So here in simple practice, what you have to do is you simply click, let's say for 30 Saturday. I'm going to click here, one click. Then if you don't, we are going to create new appointment. If you don't have client, you can simply click here plus new client or you can go with the other if it's something if it's appointment but not with the client so let's say i'm going to click new client and i'm going to add a marcus client now if it's email address home work and phone number you get also options here send an email reminder 48 hours before appointment this is really great to have phone number so let's go like this send an email reminder 48 hours then also you can uh, add a phone number here and then client type if it's a minor couple or adult then continue voila so we're gonna have the client here now you have option if it's going to be all day or if it's going to be from 9 a.m and it's going to be let's say 90 minutes right location uh, where it's going to be and then you can also repeat that now as you can see you can have also the practice service I added and I'm uh, I do massage so I would add my service here but what I can do I can even add a service directly in my appointment so I can come here and click service and I can add relocation and let's say this is going to be three hundred dollars so self pay billing type appointment total four hundred dollars now i'm going to click done and voila here i have it now in the moment when you did it you are going to compose an email marcus items you're going to see the documents here questionnaires then continue to email you can even uh, like compose it these are the intakes and then you see the review and send. 
So you can simply, uh, Marcus will receive client, client portal access and sharing six items with Marcus. So this is with the Marcus client. And then I can go share and send now. See, and this is how I do it. So this is how I have 90 minutes, 9 a.m. And this is how you can simply add appointment in your calendar. Of course, uh, when you're gonna have appointment, you can come here and uh, press delete if you want to delete it. Now, when I clicked on it, I can even like um, change if they are going to be paid in cash, Stripe, credit card, external card, check, and I can add payment if I want to. So we will see everything, how we can do that. Now let's go to clients. We already learned how we can add a client, but this is where you, where it's like going. So I can click clients and here I'm going to find clients to create a client. What do you have to do is go to top and press create and then create client. Then we're going to have a billing here and these would be all sessions and which need to be like paid. And what you can do is you can set up credit cards, start accepting credit cards by signing up with a Stripe account. You can export transactions or you can go and click billing documents. And you would find all the billing documents here. Now, when you have billings, we're going to find also insurances, insurance. And here you can simply add on the top right uh, add an insurance payment, but you need tax ID or social security number to like have that. You need to in practice settings to update it and also office address. That's something that I definitely recommend to fill out. And you can then go to top right and add insurance payment. Now Let's go to reports. In reports, you would find all the necessary analytics about how much money you made, uh, how many clients you had, all the important stuff and reports about the income, about the clients, about the billing, about the insurance. Account activity. In account activity, you would find all the necessary stuff that was happening on your account. Reminders, what is happening and Let's say if you're going to have a consultation, you would find it right here. Settings. And in settings, you can change the client portal, uh, billing services, insurance, your profile, your practice, team members, scheduling, yeah. connect the calendar here. You can sync it with Google. And you can add a phone number, cancellation policy. So everything you can edit in settings if you'd like. And this is pretty much it how it works. Now, when I go on the top, I can again click create and look, we added client, we added appointment, and then we can do is add availability. So in availability is let's say consultation days, hours. So let's go 31st and every one week and never, right? Location, if you can have location, you would find location right here. Then I'm going to click done. Okay, see, and these are my services and then those services I would find right here, right? Then you can add, then done and you got it. So this is pretty much it, how we do it. And this is how you can use simple practice. If you can have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. My recommendation is definitely download the app on a iPhone or Android, what you got. If you can have any questions, ask me down in the comments. Have a great day, guys. This was a simple practice tutorial and goodbye. See ya.